interactive distributions, such as the Z distribution here in StatKey that we're going to be looking at, are becoming more popular and are slowly replacing the Z tables found in many traditional statistics textbooks. In this video, I'll walk through a few examples of using this interactive distribution. The default normal distribution in StatKey is the standard normal distribution, also known as the Z distribution. This has a mean of zero and standard deviation of one. StatKey gives you the option to edit these values, but for this video, we'll just be working with the Z distribution. Let's just walk through a few examples. First, I'll walk through some examples where we have z-scores and we want to find proportions. Then I'll flip that and I'll do some examples where we have proportions and need to find the corresponding z-scores. For the first example, find the proportion greater than a z-score of one. Greater than means that we're looking for the area to the right of z equals one. I'll click right tail the number at the bottom is the z-score. The default here is 1.960. I'll change that to 1. Now, the area in the red is the area greater than a z-score of 1. The number in the blue box above it is the proportion. Here, the proportion of the z-distribution greater than 1 is 0.159, or 15.9%. Here's our second example. Find the proportion less than a z-score of negative three. Less than means that we're looking for the area to the left of negative three. I'll uncheck right tail and check left tail. I'll change the z-score at the bottom to negative three. The area to the left of a z-score of negative three is 0.0013 or 0.13%. As you can see, it's a very small area. Next, I'll do a two-tailed example. What proportion falls beyond z-scores of plus and minus 1.5? For this example, I'll uncheck left tail and I'll check two tail. You can use the two tail option in StatKey when you're working with proportions that are symmetrical, which is what you're working with most of the time in statistics. For example, if you're looking up a critical value or a p-value when you're conducting a hypothesis test, or if you're looking up a multiplier when you're constructing a confidence interval, in all of those cases, you would be working with a symmetrical distribution. We're looking for the area beyond plus and minus 1.5, which would be the area below negative 1.5 and the area above positive 1.5. You can change either number at the bottom here, but note that if you change the lower value, you would need to change that to negative 1.5. And if you change the upper value, you would need to change that to positive 1.5. I'll change the upper value now to positive 1.5, and you can see it automatically changed the lower value to negative 1.5. The area in each tail is 0.067. To find the total area in the tails, I add 0.067 plus 0.067, which is 0.134. The total area beyond z-scores of plus and minus 1.5 is 0.134, or 13.4%. In the first three examples, we were given z-scores and we were looking for the proportion. We can also go in the opposite direction. For example, find the z-score that separates the top 5% from the bottom 95%. We could actually select left tail or right tail here because we know that there's 5% in the right tail and 95% in the left tail. Uh, I'll go ahead and check right tail. 
Now I'll change the proportion. To do this, I'll click in the blue box that is above the distribution and enter in 0 0.05 because we have 5% in the upper end. You have to enter the value as a proportion here, so a value between 0 and 1. It will not accept percentages. The z-score at the bottom now changed. This is the score that separates the bottom 95% from the top 5%. One last example. What z-scores separate the middle 98% from the outer 2%? This is a two-tailed example. There are two ways to approach this. If there's 2% on the outside, that puts 1% or 0 0.01 in each tail. Or we also know that there's 98% in the middle, so we can go ahead and change the middle value, which is what I'll do here, to 0 0.98. And we can see that automatically changes each of our tails to 0 0.010. The z-scores that separate the middle 98% from the outer 2% are plus and minus 2.327. If you have any questions on how to use this interactive distribution in StatKey, please post to the discussion board in Canvas.